It started as just another faint dot in the sky. A blip. A new entry in a growing catalogue of comets and interstellar travellers. But within hours of its discovery, astronomers noticed something that didn't fit. This wasn't just a comet. This was something else. They called it 3i slash Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected. And the moment its orbit was calculated, something about it sent a chill through the room. It wasn't just hyperbolic, it was precisely hyperbolic. P perfectly smooth. Almost too perfect. Independent analysts started running the numbers. And within days, they found something extraordinary. The object wasn't moving with the flow of our solar system. It was moving against it. 3i slash Atlas was retrograde, traveling the wrong way around the sun, opposite to every planet and most comets ever born here. That alone made it weird. But then came the real anomaly, something that's still keeping astronomers awake at night. The inclination, the tilt of its orbit, sat within just five degrees of Earth's orbital plane. Five degrees. Out of a full celestial sphere. That's not random. Statistically, it's almost impossible. Loeb's team at Harvard crunched the probability, about one in five hundred. Only one out of every five hundred random interstellar visitors would line up that closely with our solar system's plane. The rest would cut through it sharp, chaotic angles slashing across our planetary neighborhood like cosmic bullets. And that geometry, that eerie alignment, opened a door most scientists didn't want to walk through. At its closest approach, or perihelion, 3i slash Atlas was predicted to swing inside Mars's orbit, about 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun. From Earth's perspective, it would pass behind the Sun, an event known as a solar occultation. To the public, that's just a fancy way of saying we lose sight of it for a while. If a craft wanted to slow down as it entered the inner solar system, to hide, to match velocity with the planets, it could dive close to the sun, burn its engines against its direction of travel, and use the sun's gravity to multiply the effect. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope locked its infrared eyes onto the object on August 6. The near-spec instrument ran a full scan, and the results came back fast. The spectra lit up with carbon dioxide and water vapor, red for CO2, blue for H2O. Exactly what you'd expect from a dirty snowball the classic signature of a comet. For a moment, everyone relaxed. Maybe this thing was natural after all. NASA even released the composite image two weeks later, showing the faint coma glowing around a small, cold nuclear. What really matters are the isotopic ratios, the atomic fingerprints inside that gas and ice. You see, every star system, every cloud of dust, leaves a unique signature on the elements that form there. The deuterium to hydrogen ratio, the balance of carbon-12 to carbon-13, those are like cosmic DNA. Solar system comets all cluster in a narrow band of values. But if 3i slash Atlas falls outside that range, even slightly, then it didn't form here. Its birthplace would be alien. Completely unknown. And that's exactly what scientists at ALMA and JWST are preparing to find out. They've already scheduled follow-up observation windows for December, when the comet re-emerges from behind the sun. If those isotopic ratios don't match anything in our database, then this object wasn't born in our system. It came from somewhere else, and it's passing through for reasons we still don't understand. But if you track that light curve over time, something unexpected starts to happen. The brightness isn't staying consistent. Some nights, it fluctuates more than it should. Others, it smooths out entirely. That means something inside the object is changing. Maybe ice is venting unevenly, maybe it's fracturing. Or maybe, just maybe, something beneath the surface is controlling the spin. Back in 2017, another interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, threw the entire astronomy community into chaos. Its acceleration didn't match its light curve. It was speeding up, but not from outgassing, not from jets of vapor or debris. Something else was pushing it. Some scientists proposed wild theories, everything from hydrogen icebergs to fractal dust sails. But none of them fit perfectly. And the truth is, no one still knows. Now, 
Years later, we're watching another object from the stars, and it's showing familiar patterns. Could 3i slash Atlas be the next step in that mystery? There's another question that no one can quite answer. If this object truly came from another star system, why is its path so aligned with ours? Out of all the angles, all the directions in the galaxy it could have entered from it chose one that passes almost exactly through our planetary plane. Harmless looking. As 3i slash Atlas continues its journey, astronomers around the world are keeping a close eye on it. Every spectral line, every flicker of light, every tiny change in spin is being recorded. Because if it does anything unexpected anything that can't be explained by ice and dust then we may be looking at more than just another rock from deep space. We may be watching something sent here. Deliberately. Something designed to pass by, look around, and vanish again leaving us with nothing but data, questions, and that uneasy feeling that maybe, just maybe, we're not the only ones watching. So what do you think? Is 3i slash Atlas just another interstellar comet? Or is it the next chapter in a story that started with Oumuamua a story that's still unfolding in the quiet dark between the stars? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoy diving into the mysteries that science still can't explain, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe thank you for watching my channel. Because the universe is just getting started.